Imagine getting to star in your own movie, a movie with an unlimited budget that you can make at any time. And not only that, but a movie in which you could be a superhero, the romantic lead, or an astronaut on a unicorn on the Death Star, which is made from pizza. And you can do all of this with lucid dreaming. But what are lucid dreams and how do they work? How could you make yourself lucid dream? Lucid dreams are when you know you're in a dream, but you don't wake up. To take it even further, some lucid dreamers say they can control their dream once they're in it. I've always been quite fascinated by the idea of being able to be the master of my dream world, but it's really hard, so don't feel bummed out if you've never actually experienced a lucid dream. About 55% of adults report only having one in their lifetime. However, 23% say they happen at least once per month. But of those lucid dreamers, only some can control their dreams. It took a while for me before I had my first lucid dream, and when it finally happened, I woke up after what felt like 10 minutes. But in those 10 minutes, I was able to be present and observe what was happening instead of my usual flash of dreams. But we all know we dream, or have dreams. So how do we tell the difference between a regular dream and a lucid dream? In a regular dream, you don't know that you're dreaming until you wake up. Whereas in a lucid dream, you are aware that you're dreaming as it's happening. So what is happening to our brains during this time of lucid dreaming? While we can't invade people's dreams, we can study the brain activity of people when they're dreaming. Research shows that when we are dreaming, there is heightened activity in the prefrontal cortex, which is the cognitive control center of your brain. In fact, the amount of activity is almost the same as when you're awake. The general thinking around lucid dreaming is that it is a normal process that gets interrupted and introduces some wakefulness, so you enter a sleep-wake hybrid state. So basically, it's a hazy state of being awake and asleep at the same time. And like I said, not only will you be able to be aware of your dream, but you can actually control them. So that all sounds pretty awesome, right? So how do you do it? We know that you can dream during all four sleep stages, but studies pinpoint REM sleep as the perfect time for lucid dreams. Here are four methods that I tried, but disclaimer, these aren't guaranteed to work for you but I have had success with them, and the last one in particular, I find works pretty well. First, reality checks. This is when you form habits during your waking hours to test if you're dreaming. For example, you could try asking yourself, how did I get here? Or where was I 10 minutes ago? Since you can't be self-aware in a dream, you won't be able to answer that question. Ipso facto, you're dreaming. Regardless of which test you wanna try, the key is to continually ask yourself, am I dreaming? multiple times throughout the day as you do these tests. Once you've built up this habit, you'll be unconsciously doing them in your dreams. Next, there's mild, or the mnemonic induction of lucid dreams. This is when you train yourself to recognize the difference between dreams and your reality. For me, I used to dream about my glasses on my face, but when I take them off, I can still see clearly. For you, that might be talking with your pets or noticing that you're driving a car that you no longer own. You'll also want to repeat the phrase, next time I'm asleep, I'll remember I'm dreaming, over and over again until it's ingrained in your head. This works in tandem with the wake back to bed technique, or WBTB, where you wake up after five hours of sleep, repeat that mnemonic phrase, and then go back to bed after roughly 30 minutes. Ideally, you'll have disrupted that REM stage, and when you go back to sleep, you'll jump right back into the most potent part of your dream cycle. However, WBTB can disrupt your sleep schedule, especially if you don't have two hours to spare before you need to wake up. You can also try using an external stimulation device like a headband or a sleep mask that uses certain stimuli to induce lucid dreams. But these can cost upwards of $200 and throw off your sleep routine. So if you don't have that kind of money lying around, people also swear by dream journals. This one's my favorite. Keeping detailed journals can help you recognize your dreams more quickly, which will in turn help you trigger a lucid dream. Aside from that, what I like about keeping a dream journal is that it can help with your overall well-being and your mental health. Regardless of which method you choose, all those techniques will probably work, but they require a lot of practice. So if you want to be the star of your own movie, keep dreaming. If you've had a lucid dream, what was that dream? Leave a comment below, and we read all your comments too, so give us all of those crazy dreams. Thanks for watching everybody, sleep dreams. Action. Oh yeah, we need the skull later, right? I'm just, this is my drum set, I'm playing music.
keep dreaming. <laughs>